Hey there friends, this is Angela, the Inquisitive Farm Wife, and I'm here again this week with another delicious dip recipe. I'm going to show you different ways that you can package these dips and give as gifts. Today, our recipe is dill dip mix. I love dill dip mix. Okay friends, so we have made it to the kitchen and it is week three. We are going to be bringing you a dill dip mix. I have got my little ornaments ready in my two separate containers. We learned last week about that one. And I have my little plastic bags ready so that I can make the dip mix in both variations. I'm also going to start out by putting some in a bowl so that we are prepared and ready for our mixing at the end so we can do our taste testing. Our first ingredient is the dill weed. You could probably get away with dill seed, but I think the dill weed just mixes in better and it just um, kind of tastes better, I think, uh, for a dip. But you'll need one teaspoon of that. Our next ingredient is seasoning salt, and you will want to use the real deal this time because you need that little bit of salt to go with the other herbs. We're going to be using a fourth of a teaspoon of the seasoning salt to put into each of our containers. And it just kind of slides in there so nice. And I like to go ahead and add into this bowl and it just reminds us which ones we have put in in case it gets mixed up because sometimes these Balls tend to roll around and it's not as easy to see the layering. See, there it goes, but that's okay. Our next ingredient are the onion flakes and I get to use my dehydrated onions again that we had chopped in the chopper just to make sure that they are nice pieces that will fit just a little bit easier into the containers. Uh, I can't remember if I just said that or not, but it's a full teaspoon per batch. We'll just use our funnel again to put those in there. And once we get those filled, then we'll go ahead and start filling on the bags. And I'll get those filled up. And so our last ingredient for this recipe are parsley flakes. My family just loves parsley. I put it in just about everything. And so it's going to be fantastic inside this dip. And you'll need to put in one full teaspoon to each container. And you just tippy tap it right down on in there. Sometimes you have to, you know, grab a hold of it and shake it kind of good but it'll all go in there seems like there's a little bit of a um, static electricity or something with some of the herbs but you'll get it down in there you'll you'll kind of by now you are getting a routine down on how to do all this so yeah that's right into the bags and look another layered pretty look and we are ready to start mixing this. We have used up all the sour cream, so um, I will probably put that into that container once we're done. But we need a half a cup of that, and we also need a half a cup of Miracle Whip. But if you remember from a previous video, we used a half a cup of the mayonnaise and so I'm going to go ahead and just use the real mayonnaise it just won't be quite as sweet as Miracle Whip but you can use whichever one works good for you we're gonna let this kind of sit and meld for at least two hours in the refrigerator before we use it as a vegetable or chip dip and here I am just kind of whipping it up really really well because, you know, again, you don't want to get any bits and pieces that have not been mixed well. You'll want to make sure that you cover this in the refrigerator. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually put it into that little mayonnaise container. That's going to be, um, you, I'm going to use the sour cream probably for another dip. And I'm just going to put this right back in there. The label didn't want to come off not a problem so we're just going to label it with a marker 
I do that so that my family doesn't accidentally use it for another purpose, but it um, it's just a good way to recycle and reuse. This has been such a great and fun thing to do. I want to take a moment and thank all 40 plus collaborators for joining in on this celebration fun party time. What I want to do is ask all of you to go watch the videos. I'll have a playlist down below and you can go watch all the videos. Give everybody a thumbs up. Make sure that you comment something original. No copy and paste. YouTube won't include you if you do that. And that will get you into a drawing that I'll be hosting on January 1st, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, where you could win a variety of different prizes. All right, guys, now on to the video. Okay, let's do some fun, creative ways to gift these items. As we talked about, you could just use a card. They'll easily slip in there. Pop it in the mail. How about you find a cute glass container and you could stick a dip mix in there, maybe even two. How fun and creative would that be? And just put it inside a sack. Put a little tissue paper in there. Put the lid back in there and a dip mix. And you could even include some of the ingredients or some crackers if you wanted, or squeeze in another dip mix. That's kind of cute. Creative. Or grab yourself a box and just get a bunch of random different mixes and you could gift all four in this cute little box. What creative way would you gift these? Let me know in the comments below. All right. We have the dill dip with the pretzel crackers. Let's give this a taste test. Hmm. Not sure about that. I'm not sure that I like that with the pretzel cracker. Yeah. I think this would be good with some toasted, um, some bread or I don't know. Yeah. Crackers are okay. Chips. Plain chips. That's what this needs. Tell me what you think. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's recipe. We only have one more week left of Dip Simber. So come back next week and see what final recipe I have to share with you.